Today in this world, you don't know what to expect. What will happen to you from one day to the next as far as your safety. Burglaries happen often in our society due to multiple reasons, such as simple as somebody envying you, want what you have without putting in work for it, and many more reasons. My name is William Knight, and I'll be educating you on how our lives have changed with benefits for the better. This slide of the video clip that is being shown is very important due to seeing a burglary that is taking place at somebody's home residence without the owners even knowing this is occurring. What scares them off is an alarm system after attempting multiple times of trying to enter the house without any consent. They don't know during the time that they were being recorded for evidence that this was taking place as well as giving the authority a, the identification of the predator trying to invade private property. Which brings me to my next reason on why this is important. A woman named Marie Van Britton Brown made this possible for us today in our society being the inventor of first home security systems. Marie Van Britton Brown was born and raised in Jamaica, Queens, New York on October 22nd, 1922. She was the only child that grew up and was raised by her mother and father. Her mother was a native from Pennsylvania while her father was originally from Massachusetts. Marie was in Queens, New York until her death, which was February 2nd of 1999. She lived there her whole life. Marie had a lengthy educational life as she began in Harrison College, following with Derby University, as well as the University of Phoenix. After graduating, she continued to pursue an occupation of being a nurse, which at the time was rare for an African-American to be a nurse due to African-American people not being looked at as equal around the early 1960s. Marie was married to her husband, Albert Brown, in Queens, New York, as well, where they met. Albert and Marie had two children, which names are Norma Brown and Albert Jr. Brown. Albert's occupation was an electronic technician. The crime rate in 1960s being in Queens, New York was difficult to live in. There were plenty of violence and threats that was around their complex where they lived, such as burglaries, invasions, robberies, killings, etc. With there being very little protection due to, again, African American not having the same equality as Caucasian, this made it difficult because. If there was a police call, the response to a, a police to the police was very delayed due to not having much care to get there in enough time because actions was already taking place. This was difficult for Marie and her husband to come across to live in an area like this after experiencing slavery before getting the freedom to work and be able to provide for their family while making money. But the difficulty came in place for their safety and well-being while being at work, not knowing what was going on at home and if their children were safe or not. Both Marie and her husband both worked very long hours. Marie worked more reasonable and consistent hours, such as close to a nine to five schedule. But her husband, Albert Brown, was working hours that could vary from day to day. Marie and Albert Brown consisted on making their safety a priority for their family to be able to live more comfortably, knowing that they had more protection and quicker access to authority. They invented a home security system to be able to see if there were danger right before their eyes before being able to take action faster if there was. They went on inventing multiple peepholes on the door to be able to identify who was at the door without having to open it. This peephole was different though, 
as they had an adjustable peephole to view image of the face before opening the door. They also had monitors so that they did not have to be present at the door to view who was at the door also. Being able to still be in their room and or wherever they wanted to be in the house while being able to view the monitors as well as unlocking door and locking the door while not being present at the door. There was also microphones that were being used to be able to talk while receiving a response from the person that was at the door. There were cameras that were surrounding their home as well as being able to view the rest of their complex to see farther who was at their door as well. And if there was danger even to come to the door, they had a button that they were able to contact the police immediately that would have brought the police directly to their location. To this day, we use security systems for just about everything, which is a very valuable tool that keeps us safe to this day. Marie and her husband, Albert, received an award for National Scientist Committee. While their net worth grew to $14 million from their inventions, there were up to 13 subsequent inventors that were referenced, Mary's patent and their own design, which was last recorded in 2013 and still to this day is being used.